So, I recently got myself an electric bicycle. Yeah, I thought it would be a great way to stay fit while still being lazy. You know, like the ultimate multitasking. But let me tell you, the first time I took that electric beast out for a spin, things got a little out of control. I'm cruising along, feeling all cool and eco-friendly, when suddenly I notice this hill coming up ahead. Now, in my mind, I'm like, no worries, I got this. I have an electric bicycle, hills are my be asterisk. I start pedaling, expecting the motor to kick in and effortlessly propel me up the hill. But you know what happens? Nothing. Nada. Zilch. That bike just looks at me and says, you're on your own, buddy. So there I am, pedaling with all my might, going slower than a snail on sedatives. People are passing me on their regular bikes, giving me pitying looks. I'm puffing and puffing, and they're breezing by, sipping their lattes. And probably wondering why I'm working so hard to stay in one place. Finally, after what feels like an eternity, I reach the top of the hill, completely drenched in sweat, my legs burning like they're on fire, and you know what I do, I stop, hatch my breath, and think, well, at least I'm saving the environment, and giving the neighbors a good laugh. But hey, despite the struggles, I still love my electric bike, it's like having a personal trainer who only shows up when they feel like it. Hey, I'm feeling generous today, let me give you a little boost, it's a love-hate relationship, you know? And don't even get me started on the times when the battery dies on me. It's like being stranded on a deserted island. Except instead of Wilson the volleyball, I have a lifeless bike and a whole lot of regret. But hey, it's all part of the adventure, right? Electric bikes may have their quirks, but they sure make life interesting. So, if you ever see me struggling up a hill, give me a wave and a sympathetic smile. And maybe, just maybe, lend me a push. Trust me, I'll owe you one.